All right, so I want us to get into the topic this morning. I want to deal with a topic entitled, Awake to Righteousness. Awake to Righteousness. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 34, it says this, Awake to righteousness and do not sin, for some do not have the knowledge of God. I speak this to your shame. Now, what does that mean? It means the following. If you know better, you should be acting better. All right. We need to awake to righteousness. We need to be ready to do things correctly. We need to be ready to do what God has called us to do, what we know the word of God is, what God has said we must do. We need to do it in the fullness of God's word. Simply put, if you know better, you should be practicing it. Okay? We need to be able to be awake to righteousness. Awake to doing it correctly, the way to doing it God's way, doing what Christ has called us to do. And it's a very simple thing. What does the Bible say we should do? If we do what the Bible says, we are then awakening to righteousness. All right. Now, this is interesting because Paul says, I'm telling this to your shame. What does that mean? It means Christians who are not righteous. Christians, remember, he's writing this to the church. And he says, I'm writing this to your shame. In other words, there are Christians who are not practicing what is right. And they think that it's okay. They think that God is not going to worry about it. God's not going to deal with it. I want to tell you this morning, God is not asleep. God is going to deal with everything that is unrighteous in our lives. And so there are going to be consequences to that, whether you like it or not, because they are biblical laws that we are activating. And so this morning, I want to challenge each and every one of us. Are you prepared to actively practice righteousness? Are you going to wait to it? Are you going to do what God has called you to do this morning? All right. Are you actually going to say, God, I'm going to practice your word in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Then that was 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 34. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 34. Okay. So right now, as we come around the table, I want each and every one of us to make a decision today. I, as a Christian, am going to practice righteousness. I'm going to awaken to righteousness. I'm going to do what is right in God's sight. I'm going to do what God has called me to do. And I'm going to do what he expects me to do according to his word. So on the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took bread and broke it. He said, this is my body that was broken for you. Take in remembrance of me. He took the cup. He said, this is my blood that was shed for you. Take in remembrance of me. The body of Christ was broken for our physical and emotional healing. The blood of Christ was shed for our salvation, protection, and provision. So right now, when we come around the table, folks, let us celebrate what Jesus Christ has done for us. But at the same time, let us ask God to help us to practice righteousness, to be awake to righteousness, to do what He has called us to do, and to honestly obey His word at every cost, at every turn, in Jesus' mighty name. So let's pray together. Lord, we come before you this morning. We thank you, Lord, that you love us and that you care for us. We ask you please to forgive us of any wrongdoing, any wrong thought, action, motive, or intention. Lord, I thank you right now to wash us white as snow. And Lord, I thank you that we are going to practice righteousness in everything that we do. Lord, that we are going to be awake to it. And Lord, as Christians, we are going to do what you've called us to do in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for your anointing. We thank you for your blessing. We thank you for the power of God that flows in each one of us in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you that we are going to be obedient to your word, and Lord, that we are going to practice it. Lord, I ask you right now to forgive us of any wrongdoing, any wrong thought, action, motive, or intention. Lord, I thank you that you wash us white as snow. But Holy Spirit, I thank you that you'll stir us up, that we will obey the word, and we will do what God has called us to do. In Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let's partake together. Lord, right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come before you. Lord, we release your Holy Spirit to flow in our lives. We thank you, Lord, that the dynamous power of God flows through our bodies. And Lord, that the Spirit of God that dwells in us quicken our mortal bodies, that we are healed. From the top of our heads to the bottom of our feet, God, I thank you that we are healed. And Lord, that every single symptom of sickness leave our bodies right now. Thank you, Lord, that we walk in divine health and divine healing in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen.
Well, folks, I'm so, so, so excited to be with you this morning. All right. Uh, I want to just remind you that it is Monday, uh, Monday uh, morning. And so tonight we are going to have Bible College at 6.30. So please get ready for that. And then 7.30, we have got um, uh, Kings and Priests. So please get ready for that as well. And I want to just say this. When we come to getting in around the Word, I want you to get serious about it. I want you to be part of it. And I want you to be involved. If you would like to study further, I would encourage you to have a look at GIBibleCollege.com. Please just put it on the screen. GIBibleCollege.com. You can register anywhere in a four-year cycle. You'll come right back to the same spot and you can earn yourself a degree. All right. But it's solidly word based so that you know scripture, you know the Bible. When you finish there, you will know scripture, I promise you. All right. And it's designed as a, um, uh, as a part time thing. OK, it's not a full time course. It's designed so you can do it at home. So please have a look at that. Get into the word and know that you know the word in Jesus name. Amen. All right. So right now, as you can see. Um, I'm not at home. I'm not on the couch. And there's a very good reason for that. It is our 30th wedding anniversary. And so I've taken Janine away for a few days. And so I want to just say firstly, I want to just honor her. It hasn't been an easy 30 years. All right. It's been a really, really uh, tough times at times. But I want to just say, I want to commend her. I want to say thank you for standing with us um, and just pushing through and just being the woman that she is. And also, our testimony is the fact we're still here, okay? So I want to just say, it's an absolute, absolute uh, exciting time for me. And uh, I just want to just say that we're just going to take a few days where we can just spend some time together, amen? So uh, so just, just keep praying for us. Pray that God will minister to each of us, amen? And we will do what He's called us to do. All right, now I want to pray. And we are going to pray over the 20th of March that it's not going to happen. We are going to trust God. We're going to stand in agreement as the body of Christ. And we are going to believe God for a shift in our atmosphere, a shift in our areas. And I'm calling on every single small group across this nation. Start praying over your area. Okay. <laughs> Somebody said it's my third wedding anniversary. Okay. We're a little bit past the third. Okay. But I want to say this. It is important that we pray over the areas because as we keep the atmosphere open, the demonic force that is going to try and grip this thing is not going to be able to take place. And as soon as we do that, we are going to have the victory that we need. Sorry, we're having uh, internet uh, disruptions. Okay, so I want to say this. We are not going to quit. And as we pray and we build up the areas and keep the atmospheres open, the demonic force is not going to be able to grip, hold, or be able to do what the devil has planned. So right now, we're going to pray. Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus, we come before you. Father, I thank you, Lord, for a supernatural move of your spirit. I thank you, Lord, that you are going to do something amazing in our nation. God, we come against what has been planned for the 20th of March. Lord, we come against it. We break its power. We resist every demonic plan and purpose in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you right now that we are going to see the power of God be made manifest in our lives in Jesus' name. Lord, through the body of Christ, we are going to see the power of God move in Jesus' mighty name. And Lord, I pray right now that we are not going to be the same. Lord, I thank you that as we come and we restrict the evil work, Lord, that there will not be a foothold, there will not be a mobilization, there will not be a buying. Lord, we pray for total confusion in the enemy's camp. Lord, that this is not going to happen. It's not going to take place. Lord, we speak peace. We speak blessing. We speak anointing over our nation. We thank you, God, that our economy is strong. We thank you, God, for the increase of our economy. We thank you, Lord, that it's going to be absolutely amazing to see what you're doing in South Africa. But God, I thank you right now that as we stand in small groups all over this nation, Lord, I thank you that we will create a spiritual umbrella of blessing and peace over this nation in Jesus' name. And Lord, right now, I pray for every single business. Lord, as we build our altars in the companies, and Lord, we push back what the devil is trying, I thank you, God, that we are going to succeed, and we are going to see the blessing of God in our companies. And Lord, supernatural deals, divine connections, supernatural contracts to take place. 
Lord, we thank you that we will see the blessing and the power and the anointing of God on our businesses. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Lord, right now, I pray for the peace in South Africa. I pray for our leaders that decisions will be made correctly. God, I thank you that your word clearly says that if we pray for our leaders, we will live peaceable lives. God, we speak your life over our leaders, blessing over our leaders. Lord, that they will make the right decisions in the mighty name of Jesus. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Well, folks, I want to just get straight into the declaration this morning. I trust that you're going to have an awesome, awesome day. All right. And we all are struggling with the load shedding and we're struggling with the internet that crashes. It's okay. God is in control. We are going to keep going and we're going to keep doing what God has called us to do. Amen. All right, let's do our declaration. Remember this, every statement must be in faith. In Jesus' name, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment, supernatural increase, restoration, increased assets, great victories, recognition, prominence, petitions granted, policies and rules changed, Battles won that I did not have to fight. All because of the blessing and the favor of God on my life. So saints, go out with might. Go out with valor. And go and do what God has called you to do. In Jesus' mighty name. We love you.